it's Michelle Wessner with A&J. Today I've asked my family to help create a home fire escape plan so that you can do the same with your family. Pull together everyone in your household and make a plan. Walk through your home and inspect all possible exits and escape routes. Households with children should consider drawing a floor plan of your home, marking two ways out of each room, including doors and windows. For easy planning, you can download this escape planning grid. This is a great way to get children involved in fire safety in a non-threatening way. A closed door may slow the spread of smoke, heat, and fire. Install smoke alarms in every sleeping room, outside sleeping areas, and on every level of the home. Everyone in the household must understand the escape plan. When you walk through your plan, check to make sure the escape routes are clear and doors and windows can be easily opened. Choose an outside meeting place like a neighbor's house, light post, mailbox, or stop sign, a safe distance in front of your home where everyone can meet after they've escaped. Make sure to mark the location of the meeting place on your escape plan. Go outside to see if your street number is clearly visible from the road. Make sure every member in your household knows how to call 911. If there are infants, older adults, or family members with mobility limitations, make sure someone is assigned to assist them in the fire drill and in the event of an emergency. Assign a backup person too, just in case that person is not home during the emergency. Once you're out, stay out. Under no circumstances should you ever go back into a burning building. If someone is missing, inform the fire department dispatcher when you call. Firefighters have the skills and equipment to perform rescues. Thanks so much for watching. We hope this never happens to anyone, but the reality is it does. And we want you and your family to be prepared and safe. If there's a topic you'd like to hear more about, post it in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you next time.